Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Scorpio. Thank you Lord God for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Scorpio, interesting energy. Um, all right, so how you're coming to the reading is a mature woman, okay. triangle, and spiritual growth. Okay. Um, so some of you are mature. You're over the age of 27. We'll say that. Um, if you're a woman, you come into the connection very mature, having life experience, you could have two or more options in love, okay? So you're keeping it kind of open. You might be trying to play both sides here um, to get whatever it is you want out of, you know, um, both people. These people might be in your life for, you know, different reasons. You like this person for this and the other one for that. This is an opportunity for you to learn a lesson here for spiritual growth to take place. Um, this is an opportunity for you to grow, all right? Um, or this is an opportunity for someone else to grow around you. If this is not you with the options, then you are the mature woman and you are one of the options. Off camera, what I was getting was, okay, this might be an opportunity for you to grow because maybe you allow your person to treat you as an option or to have several options or you knew about another option but you still stayed we teach people how to treat us and then when we change it's not necessarily that they change it's just that we've changed we've changed our mind and we have the right to do so um i say all of that because your person is coming to the reading as um marriage okay this is just about the sex, okay? And the Joker. So your person is coming to the reading as maybe married to you or the position of being with you, committed to you, but still having maybe um, an extra marital affair or an extra person here. And they're telling you it's just about the sex. Um, there are no strings attached. This is me needing my freedom, my fine. Um, it's all about the sex. It's about the, the orgasmic, uh, you know, side of sex. I don't know if, I always get this with the arena, Scorpio. If someone has asked, they ask for a third, per, third person in the bedroom, and it's really, really all about um, climax and sensuality and sex. Okay, and this woman here, this mature woman, is all about uh, sophistication, independent, um, and sensuality. So some of you could have asked for a third party, or your person asked for the third party, but now something is in question or in jeopardy. But your person is showing up as um, committed to you, but wanting uh, an additional, additional partners um, in the relationship, outside of the relationship wanting or having the additional partner there's a lot of chatter your person is coming up as um gossip okay and uh destiny okay um so your person may be all talk and no action they say all of these things they do nothing it could be a lot of talk around your person also your person could be talking a lot about you, about the relationship, they just go on and on. I mean, they can talk for days about things that just mean nothing. It's just gossip. It's just rumor. It's just hearsay. It's just feelings getting out there. So there's a lot of gossip surrounding you and this person or just the connection overall. Also, your person is more of a talker, not a doer. The hand of destiny is taking its place here in this relationship. Uh, think Things are happening for a reason. Um, events are taking place for a reason. Um, 
you guys are yet to see what those reasons are but the hand of destiny is here or you're meeting someone new here also who is going to allow for you to have spiritual growth and for some of you on the adverse this is this is that new person that mature woman um that allows for you to this is the opportunity for you to learn a lesson for you to have spiritual growth this is a destined meeting i say that because you're coming to the reading as um courtship okay so this talks about um meeting a person going on a date with the person nobody is wildly in love with the other person cupid's arrows may have not even been shot here but there's an opportunity for all of this to turn around this card actually talks about all of a sudden being crazy in love with someone um it talks but at the same time i don't know if you're saying this to someone scorpio or they're saying it to you you are so immature um maybe this this is uh the card these are the cards speaking to you about maybe you're just needing to grow there needs to be growth um your immaturity is in love and relationships is in uh people relationships um the nine of diamonds also here um you could be coming up as wanting a relationship or you be, you could be saying you want a relationship especially if you are a male you could be saying you want a relationship you want a more more commitment in your life but what you are exuding is independent nature, um, closed off, um, not letting people in your heart space, your home maybe. Um, it's keeping people at bay, at arm's length, um, not wanting real intimacy. Not sex, but real intimacy. So your words are maybe not matching up with your actions and that's why we get this all talk and no action. Some of you are saying, this is what I want, this is what I want, but you're not acting on it or your actions directly contradict what it is you say you want. Um, your person, for some of you, this also is reading as you are married, Scorpio, and your person is saying, look, I understand this is just about the sex, you want no strings attached, or they are reiterating it to you. This is just about the sex, no strings attached. You also... For some of you, you have already met this mature woman here, and um, she is offering you spiritual growth. She is an option to you because some of you are already coupled or married or in a relationship to where you live with someone here. Um, and there's a lot of gossip surrounding you, a lot of salacious gossip. I don't know if you have a lot of women that you deal with, or you have younger women talking about you or gossiping about you. Um, but the hand of destiny in, in terms of meeting this person, it, it was destiny for you to meet this person um, because they are offering opportunity for you to um, actually grow, mature spiritually, um, but not without compromise. You're going to have to give up something or give and take, take and give. You're going to have to um make it work make it where it's a win-win for everybody involved here and maybe some of you are trying to do this especially those of you who are trying to juggle multiple people some of you who brought sexual partners in as the third party and it's just about the sex you're going to have to compromise in terms of what your partner is asking for and what they need from you emotionally. Maybe they don't want to do it anymore. Maybe they want to do it less. Maybe they don't want the person involved as much. I don't know, but you're going to have to compromise here. Um, someone could be saying that they want the relationship and they act very independent in nature. So it's um, throwing the other person for a loop. And that could be you, Scorpio. There could be new love on the cards for you. Some of you could be wanting to play up your, hang up your player card, your player, play at card. And you could be asking someone new to work with you. Okay, work with me, please. Um, because you're trying. Um, the change that you want to happen in your life is having a happy home and business life. And that's what you really want. Um, you could be dealing with a mystic or someone who's able to... Um, read energies or maybe even clear audience they can hear read minds um keep that in mind someone is heightened or they have heightened psychic abilities especially in dealing with the opposite sex prosperity and success is here for you in a significant relationship 
So this is what I have for you, Scorpio. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own oracle reading just like this one, or book any reading at the website level. If you have a question or two, you can text it to the number below. Paper your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Thank you, Scorpio. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me Coffee link if you're feeling moved to do so. If you want to get in on the full moon release ritual, let's do it. It's this July 23rd at 10 p.m. Whatever you need to release, whatever you want to release in your life, let's do it all together. Okay, let's do it uh, as a group, a corporate corporation. All right. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye.